Hi, Aries. I hope you are doing well. Thank you for joining me. This is A Touch of Tarot. My name is Genevieve, and I'm going to be doing your reading. We'll see what's coming up. This may be the last reading for July for you. So let's get an overall energy to begin with, and we'll build from there. Okay, seventh chakra, Archangel Uriel, and patience are coming out together, and I literally feel like they should be stuck together. Aries, I feel like some of you are um, very aware that there's a situation most likely involving matters of the heart, um, something you're holding on to, someone you're holding on to that you care a lot about that you need to be patient with, okay? And I do want to say my extended will be on Patreon if you want to join me there. So let's see. I, what I'm getting is the person you're dealing with right now is going through some sort of a transformation, an ending of some sort, maybe releasing, letting go. Let's see what's coming out. We do have the five of swords in reverse. So this person may have recently let someone go. Let. What I'm actually getting, like, yeah, this person may have let someone go, but this person may be in the process of letting go of an old belief of themselves, um, like they're not good enough, like they can't achieve something, like they can't have something. Um, yeah, they're coming, becoming aware. And I believe I even said that they are becoming aware or you are becoming aware um, of something here, or you're both doing this together, maybe helping each other. So let's get right into the tarot and see what comes out for this situation. For Aries, please. Whoa. Okay, that definitely wanted to come, and it's in the reverse. It's weird. I'm just, you know, getting this energy, like there's someone who doesn't feel good enough for some reason, Aries. I don't think that that's you, because Aries are quite confident, right? This can be someone that's an earth sign, and maybe they want to come forward with more money than they have right now. Um, what I'm also seeing is it's possible that they either just lost their job maybe just went through a divorce, that's kind of possible. Um, something has gone south, okay? This person may be starting over. As for the Nine of Wands, let me just check that. So this person is kind of avoiding making this move, and this move could be, um, let's just see if it's towards you maybe, maybe moving away from a situation. They're kind of avoiding it. Okay, if it's not a marriage or an unhappy relationship, it's they're really causing themselves a lot of fear, avoiding ending some sort of a cycle. But I feel with the Wheel of Fortune that this is going to be ended regardless. Let's see. Yeah, for sure. This is actually a gift. The ending of whatever um, situation there is here is a gift. It comes along, this gift comes along with a bit of a disaster energy, okay? Let's get a little more on that, yeah. A completion has to happen here in a situation, Aries. Now, I think you're being patient in allowing this to happen. Let's do the seventh chakra and see what's coming up for that. It may have been burdensome, but what you don't know is that, you know, there is going to be light at the end of the tunnel. Patience to the patience energy. Um, we have the Empress. There's a new beginning. Like just being patient is actually, for some reason, I heard being patient isn't good enough. Or maybe you just don't want to hear that anymore. You know, maybe you just feel like I can't be patient anymore waiting for this to happen, waiting for this person maybe to heal from something with the temperance and finally let it go, finally get out of their own way, finally get out of their head. And the tower is saying there has to be a complete ending because it's clarified by the Ten of Swords. Tell us a little more about what that situation is. That's what we really want to know. Come on, right? Okay, so let's see. Let's get a couple cards. Mm -hmm. Wow, just one more card. Here. Let's see. So I just have to, um, no, I'm pretty sure that this is, yeah, exactly what I thought. I'll clarify that. Oh, okay. Look at the cards are speaking very loud here. Hangman, devil, seven of cups. Uh, tell us more about the situation. So more so what I'm getting 
is that this person was very sad about something that they had to do, something they came to clarity about. And it could be literally um, that they're hanging on to a toxic situation and they just were afraid to leave it. I feel like this person had endless sleepless nights about this. And then on top of it, you know, look at here. On top of it, this person had to deal with the knowledge that they have a beautiful connection available to them that, you know, they weren't really doing anything about or whatever. Maybe they were doing things about, but they were, were not in a place or in an energy to, they were just staying in sorrow. There's definitely lessons here with the judgment card coming out. Um, and, you know, for some people, the message, maybe this person has already left a marriage or left a commitment, but they haven't let go of the heartache. And that's delaying them being able to put attention on this connection. This is the connection that matters now. You know, I think this person knows that they have to let go of the past, for one. Ooh, whoa. So, yeah, I feel like this person may have been in a situation with someone that really, um, whatever happened there, they ended up closing off their heart, okay? They ended up closing off their heart. Now, as for that Ace of Wands, yeah, Eight and the Seven of Swords. Well, all I'm getting for that is that this is talking about actions this person had to take, which were to start over or to move away from something that they kind of invested for a while. And I feel like it's actually a wife energy here because we also have the Eight of Swords here. We have the Hierophant in reverse. Justice. Hmm. So you're coming up, um, viewer, um, is coming up here as the Six of Cups energy. So you're a connection that's probably been a while. Okay, we have the star card now, a destined connection. This person wants to come back to you. Is this, let me just switch these cards up now so I can like hopefully get a different message. Okay, is this person going to come back? I do feel this person truly wants to come back. Double four energy. Double knave energy, but in reverse. Or one of them. This king of wands, it won't leave. So I'm also getting the message for you. You know, this person was sleeping with you and another person. Clearly, like... You, you know, maybe you were involved during the marriage and then maybe there was some separation and now there's been some sort of an ending. Look at the full card and the judgment in reverse. So it may not be fully complete, but I'm getting something like this, okay? And I feel like this person may not be talking to you just yet. You're still going to have to be patient, but this person did make a decision, but they may not have told you, which, you know, is not really fair at all. Okay, give me a summary of what this is about. Okay, the emperor. So that, okay, one second. I'm going to take any card that flips over right now. Okay. So this is what I get, Aries. This person in one way or another is kind of looking for a green light, um, a sign, something that tells them, first of all, that you are still waiting for them, hanging on for them. So maybe you stepped away. You're not even calling this person. This person has no idea that you're still interested. That's very possible. Even though I feel that this person is naturally heading back towards you, there's this pause energy because I think this person isn't sure that you're actually really wanting to be with them and just how committed you are. 
there's something here where there's like a vagueness. Okay. So maybe you guys never really got to solidify things. So there's endless possibilities. And normally that would be a good thing, but I feel that this kind of scares your person because they're all about playing the right m move. Yeah. Taking the right move. Okay. Like they have the chess piece there, you see, but he's trying to figure out, he's checking this beautiful energy out over here. This nine of wands, a very strong, he's wondering if you're still there. This person is wondering if you are still holding a flame for them. If they come and make the move, is there going to be success? Because I do get, um, in this case, this person I know it sucks, but they really want surety that they're going to be successful for some reason, even though I feel they're naturally moving towards you no matter what. I kind of feel that um, if they knew, it would happen a lot quicker. Things are not black and white with this person is what I get, okay? Like, it's very hard for them. Well, it's not that it's very hard for them. They just like to be right or make the right moves. And this person is afraid of rejection of some sort or... I think this person's done a lot of healing, um, but they may have hurt you. And this is going to have to have a brand new, fresh start. Let's see. And this person is also very sexually attracted to you. And I don't know, I guess it kind of crosses their mind that you might think that all they want is intimacy again, because there was probably a lot of that. So let me just see what cards we have here. For some of you, this person ran when things got difficult, okay? Um, and it kind of let you down. Well, not kind of. I'm sure it really let you down. For some, this is a very strong soulmate, twin flame connection as well. Total runner and, like, I get, like, this person ran so much, you just couldn't even keep up anymore. So maybe at one point, me, me <laughs> sorry, not laughing, but this person was running back to the, to like a marriage. Maybe why? How, because I don't know if they were trying to save it, but they wanted to monitor the way that they were looking about this. Maybe looking in the way that they handled it. Is that over? Let's ask that. Is this marriage over? Okay. From what I see, people are in communication right now about ending a situation. Oh, there's the devil. That was at the bottom. Sorry, my nose is so itchy. All of a sudden, injustice. Um, people are in the talks of it, but the community doesn't know. And that is why this person was going back. And that's why it's kind of like, yeah, they're still together, but they're not. Um, let me get one more card on that energy and I'll dig in on the extended three of wands. It's literally like, and the queen of pentacles at the bottom. So we have with the hierophant, we have a woman living in the home still, or one member of the partnership living in the home. Um, and the other person just totally just waiting to get that green light. I don't know if I mentioned the green light already. I said that in another reading. I don't know. Or I said it in this one. So I didn't mean to pick up these cards, but they have um, what I'm noticing is the worth waiting for and stay optimistic. But ask a question before I moved in, move into the extended. That was quick. So within the next few months has wormed its way out. There might be some adjustments and changes. It says that there is something better and a peaceful resolution. So even if you've said, like, is this person going to bring me something and it says there's something better, it could just mean, like, they're going to bring you something better. You know, don't take it harshly. Okay, I'm going to move into the extended. Thank you so much for those of you that want to join me. It's for 44 no, four dollars and forty-four cents. Yeah, four forty-four <laughs> um, a month. So yeah, you get charged once a month, and on the first of the month. So if you join today, you would be charged again. You know, all um, two weeks or something, or a little less than two weeks. Okay. Thank you so much. I hope you guys are doing well, enjoying your weekend. Are my cards upside down? No. Nope. Um. Yeah. Bye for now. Like I really appreciate you. Um, and yeah, guys, goodbye for now. Ciao.